This is a weapon most of you will probably have never heard of. In Dutch it's called Verjager. In Frisian it's called Kletsi. The best translation in English would probably be Vaulting Spear. For a large part of history, most of the Low Countries was divided by marshes, ditches, waterways and polders. And it was relatively common to use a vaulting pole to travel through the fields. And when you already need to bring a large pole uh, to travel through these fields, why not in times of war or other troubles, uh, stick a large spear point on the end of it? They are first mentioned uh, in the hands of the Frisians in a Danish source from about uh, 1200. That describes a battle uh, from 1115, but most historians uh, think that they go back even further than that. Most vaulting spears seem to have been about two and a half meters up to four meters, but we also see shorter examples. A source from the Battle of Laxum between an army of Frisians and an army of Frisians and uh, German mercenaries under the command of Albrecht von Sachsen. Uh, claims that the Frisians had uh, vaulting spears that were longer uh, than the pikes of, of the mercenaries. Now, it doesn't state the length of the pikes of the mercenaries, if they were field pipes from about 4 meters uh, to, uh, up to 6 meters, or that they were using half pikes. The bottom of the pole of the vaulting spear can either feature a metal claw, or a wooden block, or a wooden disc. Uh, all of these are uh, to keep the, the pole from sinking into the mud or slipping. Ew, is it under the mudder? In the 80 years war, we first come across the term verjager. Uh, the Spanish mentioned them uh, as skirmishers. They're armed with two pistols and a carbine hung from a sling. They're dressed in linen and armed with uh, a vaulting spear. Vaulting poles could also be used to deliver goods and messages across enemy lines. In this case, they could uh, sometimes feature, feature spearheads, so they would be vault, uh, vaulting spears, and sometimes they would just be simple vaulting poles, uh, just to be less inc inconspicuous. During the siege of Alagma in 1573, uh, a man hid multiple letters in his vaulting pole and transported them uh, across the Spanish lines uh, to deliver them to the sea beggars to get relief for the city. In the second half of the war in the 17th century, uh, there were troops that used vaulting spears. Um, they were most likely uh, light cavalrymen who used them in skirmishes where horses would be impractical because of the above mentioned uh, ditches, waterways and marshes. I found a list from the village of Hazewoude in South Holland. From the, uh, it features uh, able-bodied men between the ages of 18 to 60 and the weapons they would be they would would have been equipped with. The list features about 331 men, 29 armed with pikes, 50 armed with half pikes, 64 armed with calibers or uh, low caliber uh, firearms, one halberd, and surprisingly 188 vaulting spears. It's estimated that the vaulting spears were used from Lower Saxony in what is now Germany uh, down to uh, West Flanders in what is now Belgium. If you have any questions about this video or any other video or have anything to add, please leave it in the comments and consider subscribing.